but pre-match focus on Gabriel Jesus. In wonderful form, can he add to his goal-scoring haul today on EA TV? And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. This looks more than decent. Takes the shot. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. The initial 11 for Wolves. Ruben Neves plays with Mario Lemina in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And still trying to get the shot off. Has eyes for goal! In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Can he make it 1-0? And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. And a goal has gone in in the Nottingham Forest match. Alex Scott has all the details. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. They've scored the opener here with 13 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Bukayo Saka. Not showing good vision. Declan Rice. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Martinelli. Long-range effort. Tremendous block. Zinchenko. Real chance. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. So the ball rolling again. 2-0. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. Well, he's certainly on fire at the moment. He looks fit, he looks sharp, and he's full of confidence. He's just been too hot to handle, and I fully expect him to score again today and eventually break that record. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Rice. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Lemina. Nunes it's with Ruben Nervis an inability to keep hold of the ball there a really sumptuous ball oh keeper dealt with it and over comes the corner well still an issue here Gabriel it's with Gabriel. And teammates around him. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Not away completely. 
And in the end, no damage done. Space for Wolves out wide. And that's an important intervention. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Now the task is to remain focused. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And what a clinical finish this is from Jesus. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. Effective looking pass. That's useful play. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at... Off and running again as we reflect upon an eye-catching first-half display from Arsenal. I know many people question the wisdom of using him in this position, but you have to say he's adapted well, and if the last few games are anything to go by, this could become a pattern. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's been terrific. It can be difficult adjusting to a new role, but at the end of the day, you just let the manager worry about that. As a player, you have to focus on putting in a shift for the club, and he's done exactly that. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Ruben Neves. Neves. Great opportunity. That is a tackle and a half. But it looks like there's been a goal in the Tottenham match. Over to Alex for the details. It's a goal for Manchester City. The goalkeeper will be looking at himself on that one. He was totally out of position and it was an easy finish. They're back level. It's one all with 53 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Gabriel Jesus prepared to fire. Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact. That, but the keeper more than equal to it. Now sending it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Well, Arsenal are looking really good today. Just look how many chances they've created. And I sense there's still more to come here. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on oh, EA TV. Great opportunity here. Keeper did his job to begin with. Surely. And a goal. Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Just 20 minutes remaining now. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. 
Tossard. And a strong tackle. Gonzalo Gedge. And return to Nevis. And reading it absolutely superbly. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, it petered out. Gonzalo Gedish. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And a throw in here for Wolves. And a goal to tell you about at St James's Park, but for which team? Let's find out by joining Alex Scott. It's another for Newcastle United. They've extended their lead to three with 79 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Breaking at pace. They need to get bodies back. Opportunity! Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Borja Iglesias. I oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, another goal! You just cannot keep them down. And it sets up a furious finish. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Read it well. So there goes the final whistle. It ends at a victory for Arsenal. Maximum point. You know, when the draw for the group stage was made, I think most fans had their own... Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It's Benfica, and they take on Arsenal. Well, I think this should be a good game tonight, Derek. We've got some excellent players on show here. Let's just hope they perform to their best. Oh, that's a really good run. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Declan Rice starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Gabriel Jesus. Martinelli. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one.
But Arsenal, who certainly had designs on excelling in Europe this season, haven't been anywhere near brilliant in the group stage up to now, certainly. Their supporters are hoping for an upturn in fortunes this evening. Well, they've been really disappointing so far. I thought they'd go through quite easily, but they just haven't played well enough. They certainly need a big performance today. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Oh, did so well to deny him. And there's the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. Gabriel. Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. Being pressed hard. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Could be. Blocked it brilliantly. Zinchenko. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? Could play it in. Florentino Petar Musa David Neres outrageously skillful well they keep passing away but then the one that goes astray and it's going to run through to the keeper here Jorginho Rice with it Bukayo Saka Gabriel Jesus and thwarted there following the cross Declan Rice can he find the right pass are they going to forge ahead in it goes but wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been... Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. A goal! The opening statement of the match. A richly deserved lead. And now they can celebrate. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. And they're playing again, and Arsenal are leading. Petar Musa. On to Jesus. Getting the better of his opponent. Rice. And Arsenal unable to retain possession. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. That's part of his game, holding the ball up and waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. And the whistle is sounded. And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Declan Rice and the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack and a chance Odegaard and both hands on it good goalkeeping well, plenty of positives in the first half where Martin Odegaard was concerned what did you make of his contribution well Derek he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half 
I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And teammates around him. Well, shielding the ball admirably. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Saka. On to Jesus. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Chances on. Corner coming up. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Short corner favoured. That'll be a Benfica ball. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Arsenal facing Burnley. Saka. Well, tremendous block. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. Can they extend the lead? A goal! Accurate from the spot. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, the stats don't lie. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. Real chance. A goal! Another one. It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Aursnes. Poor pass under no real pressure. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And giving the ball away. It is now with Jorginho. Good looking pass. Mete. Well, lovely work to get past his man. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation? at this stage of the proceedings they haven't been at their best well it's a very simple finish in the end but his movement was really good he just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most underway again with the score at 3-1 now a decent position it's with Mete extremely sloppy in possession it's there for him and that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Time for a change then. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And he read it really well. Fine save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And with the goalkeeper. Oh, in with a chance. And he finds the net. He could hardly... 
hardly miss. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. You're absolutely right, Derek. They're attacking...